footwork and movement skills. Footwork and movement skills all involve the basic components of stance, coordination, footwork and balance. The two foot landing. In the two foot landing, players should land with their feet shoulder width apart to give a stable base. They keep their body upright and bend their hips, knees and ankles on impact to cushion the landing. Players should keep their body weight over both feet. The three key components of safe landing are Control the hip and knee when landing. They should be in alignment and not swing inward or outward. Keep the knee and toe direction the same. Ensure a soft and slightly bent knee on landing. Younger players may not have the core strength to hold a two foot landing and may need to step forward with one foot after two foot landing to maintain their balance. Coaching points. Land with feet shoulder width apart to give a firm support base. Keep the body upright. Bend at the hips, knees and ankles on impact to cushion the landing. Body weight over both feet. One foot landing. In performing the one foot landing, it is important that players learn which foot to land on. This is dependent on which way the player is leading. A player who is leading to the right should land on the right foot. and a player who is leading to the left, lands on the left foot. On landing, players should keep their body weight over the outside foot, with their shoulders even and weight on the outside foot. They then place their other foot on the ground quickly to help absorb impact and provide balance. Coaching points. If a player leads to their right, they land on the right foot. If a player leads to their left, they land on the left foot. Body weight over the outside foot. Place the other foot on the ground quickly to help absorb impact and provide balance. Bend at the hips, knees and ankles on impact to cushion the landing. Take off. Players start with small steps or strides on takeoff and quickly move to bigger steps. The arm should move in opposition to the legs and should be used to drive the player forward in a relaxed style with elbows bent. Players should keep their head and eyes up. When leading to the right, a player takes off with the right foot. And when leading to the left, takes off with the left foot. Coaching points. Arms and legs move in opposition to each other. Lean body forward. Start with small steps and quickly move to bigger steps. Arms drive forward in a relaxed style, elbows bent. Head up and eyes up. When leading right, take off with the right foot. When leading left, take off with the left foot. The two foot jump. The two foot jump is for a high ball and is usually used when the player is running straight at the thrower. To execute a two foot jump, Players should bend slightly at the hips, knees and ankles with their weight forward over the knees and toes. They then step into the takeoff with a quick left-right or right-left step pattern and use both arms to reach up and extend towards the ball. Players land on both feet, cushioning the landing by bending at the knees, hips and ankles. When coaching younger players, encourage them to land with feet shoulder width apart as some may initially land with their feet too close together. Coaching points. Bend slightly at the knees, hips and ankles. Weight forward over the toes. Step into the takeoff with a quick left-right or right-left step pattern. Use both arms to drive up and extend towards the ball. Land on both feet. Cushion the landing by bending at the knees, hips and ankles. One foot leap. The one foot leap is usually used when the player is running at an angle to the thrower. To execute a one foot leap, players bend slightly at the knees, hips and ankles, place their weight forward over the toes and push off strongly from the takeoff foot. 
Reaching their arms out towards the ball, they land on the foot away from the thrower, cushioning the landing by bending the knees, hips and ankles. Coaching points. Bend slightly at the knees, hips and ankles. Weight forward over the toes. Push off strongly from takeoff foot. Use both arms to drive up and extend towards the ball. Land on the foot away from the thrower. Cushion the landing by bending at the knees, hips and ankles. Outside pivot. An outside pivot continues the natural body movement after a player receives the ball at full stretch. Pivoting must always be on the landing foot. Players should bring their weight over their landing foot, bending their knees slightly, then turn on the ball of the landing foot, pushing off with the other foot. The non-landing foot is lifted and regrounded to maintain balance. When leaning to the right, players land on the right foot and pivot to the right. When leaning to the left, players land on the left foot and pivot to the left. When leading straight, balance and pivot on the first landed foot away from the defended side. When coaching younger players, encourage them to run onto the ball. Some may jump to catch the ball. Coaching points. Pivoting must always be on the landing foot. The landing foot cannot gain ground. Turn on the ball of the landing foot, pushing off with the other foot to provide direction and balance. Keep the ball close to the body, position ready to throw. 